Hey everybody, so coming at you again with another episode of A Closer Look. Okay, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. Now that I've covered f five, three and four star heroes, one of each color, I'm going to just hop over and cover the zombies here. Okay, so for anyone new to the game, we have a special ops that you will access once you get to level 10 and once a month the zombie horde comes out. So if you've watched some of my other videos, I have done zombie horde videos of what it's like to play in the horde. And uh, it's a neat special ops. I wish it was still bi-weekly like it used to be, but of course Small Giant is in their infinite wisdom cut it back to once a month unfortunately so but you can get five heroes five different heroes from these zombie badges once you get is it 10 i believe it's 10 zombie badges you trade in for a hero the yellow is the legendary mr billy bob and he is the rarest hero in the game at only one percent so not too many people have him, and the only way to get him is through the zombie badge. You can't summon these guys. So these are going to end up being free heroes for you at some point as you progress in the game and are able to play the zombie horde when it comes out once a month. So this is a neat thing. I really like it. And the zombies are some decent heroes, except for one, which we'll get into in a minute. So the epic are purple a purple zombie named Lindsay and spud is the red four star and then the other two are rares i'm going to cover the two rares today in this video and those are the ones that will drop the most at 75 percent so let's pop over and see who the rares are we have Manfred and we have Roberto. Okay, so I'm going to cover Manfred first. And Grack in his uh, hero, hero guide has him listed as a D hero. Honestly, he's the worst hero in the game. The special is just awful and really it's ridiculous. Um... I'm just going to pop over and show you Grack because he does deserve credit for a lot of this. I don't agree with all his assessments, obviously. He's in all for one here. Because some of it is personal opinion, and I said that in my very first breakdown of Aiko. So, because um, he gave Throttle, for instance, a higher War Machine rating than I would have. Because I don't think Throttle is that helpful on War Machines. And I have other healers. So so uh, some of this is definitely personal opinion. You guys may find that there's a hero that you think is awesome. That I maybe don't use that much. And I don't necessarily think is fantastic. But Grack has uh, been maintaining this right from the beginning. So that's a lot of work for him. So I... I do think the community is benefiting from that and he deserves a thank you for sure. All right, so let's go back to Manfred here. So he's got him basically as a one out of five <laughs> hero. Uh, like he, he is not good on defense, offense, war machine, playing any events, any sort of thing like that. But this special is not fantastic so i leveled him up and i did take him to seven out of ten on skill books i would never give him any more though because he would start chewing up my epic skill books and i have only used him a few times i took him out for a ride took him out for a drive see how uh see how he does and he's terrible <laughs> so he's just taking up space in my roster right now so I give him an F for food. Don't level him. Just feed him away. 
even if you do want to keep one copy in your roster just just leave it unleveled because at some point he may get a buff where he actually is helpful to his team but he's not as of right now and there aren't even any weapons that make him more effective because usually there's weapons that might make a hero more effective no there's none there's none the health weapons give him a bit of health so he survives but i don't there's nothing that helps this hero get any better not even the family bonus helps him get any better <laughs> so if you play more than one you get the attack up you can take advantage of the attack up well with his attack up okay that's pretty handy but it, he only covers himself and nearby allies and it's just a defensive buff and an attack up buff he doesn't heal he doesn't do any damage He's not even a cleanser or a buff dispeller or something. And he only covers three. Now, if he covered five, or if that would be much better for one, or if he at least had fast char charging speed, but uh, he is just not useful. There's too many other heroes that have way more decent specials in the three star range. So. I personally don't know anybody that uses him and like I say I've tried letting him out of his cage here and taking him out to see what he can do and it's not good at all and there's better sentry class heroes as well so sentry class does armor up so they've they've made this hero too defensive and it's a passive passively defensive special so it just does not work but there's other ones that would gain immensely from having the armor up so this guy just don't level him like i say if you want to keep a copy of him and maybe eventually down the road sg will give him some kind, sort of a buff so people actually do use him but right now he's the worst hero in the game so grok gives him a d i give him an f for food <laughs> So that about sums up him. Let's hop over to Roberto. I think Roberto is decent for a lot of different reasons. I really like Roberto. And in my uh, alt account, I did get a Lindsay and Lindsay's leveled up a little bit more now and she can come out and do a war hit, which is fantastic. So I actually did just show you a picture of Lindsay here. Bow, bow, bow. Oh yeah, she's way up here. So I did actually team these two together. So I got to take advantage of the family bonus, which was cool. So I had two of them together. So I got plus three attack. So I'm going to do that from now on because I don't have a lot of depth in, in blue in my alt account at all. So I'm going to make sure anytime that I'm taking Lindsay out for a spin on a war hit that he's gonna go with her so any extra little bit of help i can get is cool all right so he is rated as a b and i think there's reasons that he could be easily rated as a b plus or an a hero for a three star um so he's a salt class and that is a decent special because he's a poisoner and then he would also apply bleeding if you were going to put emblems on a three star. Again, I tend to save my emblems for higher heroes, but that's not a bad uh, special because it would also stack with other bleeding effects from other heroes like uh, Dasha or from master weapons that do bleeding. It would stack with those as well there are only a couple master weapons that do bleeding most of them do poison um, which again would stack with his poison as well or they do burn so uh, he he is pretty effective uh, you can put so if you did put emblems on him that goes to 25 I think so that's 10 15 25 if you wanted to do that 
and of course if you went all the way to the end the charge bonus is way down here on assault class so yeah I mean he's solid for a uh, three-star hero for sure now the charge speed is a bit of a drawback but if you did put a blue speed weapon on him we'll calculate that out in a minute and see if that does actually bump him up into a higher bracket so there's a possibility that it could make him um, into an average hero with a speed weapon so like I said we'll calculate that out in a bit so 220 damage to the target and nearby enemies it I tend to use him on um, uh, challenge events when I need a blue stack uh, so that's effective obviously that he can hit he's an area of effect hitter that covers three heroes and then of course you've got the poison now let's cover some weapons that make him more effective actually let's go along the theme of the poison and I'll show you this the master weapons first okay so that is wrong one the Gulima gives him a bit of uh, armor every turn for the three star master weapon but here's one that makes him much more effective this stacks with his poison damage and he's gonna hit three every time when he does that so that's pretty awesome I uh, tend to if I can team him up with this weapon in and whenever I use them um, unfortunately the challenge events only allow the three-star weapons but regardless like I have I used them quite a bit in my alt account for war and that and I've tended to put a poison weapon or s on him or on one of the other heroes in that are playing on his team and that when they hit that poison effect will also stack because there's other colors have the poison as well in the master weapons so that is pretty handy and th that one's a bleed so if I had this one on, on someone else on the same attack that would stack with his emblem effect his assault class emblem effect so that's pretty cool too all right so there's a lot of different combinations that can make him more effective so let's cover all right so I have a copy of the saw I like this one too for offense it's gonna add a bit more health to him and his stats are solid his health defenses and attack are pretty solid so and then you got the critical chance of course for damage up on the tiles Bargo is just a resistance weapon um, it's got decent defenses if he's on defenses and you ha only had a Bargo to use on your defense that's okay too and then of course he's got the chance to resist any burn or anything like that from the attacking team I like this one for offense too though with a critical chance so that's a good one and now the three star weapons this one is a dodge this one ends up being the one I use for events and that when they go in with him is the dodge weapon the other three star weapon is the check off which is just armor damage and I oh I do have an unlevel copy I got rid of the check offs because I wasn't using them uh, the three star Golemas master weapon and the magnums are way better okay so there's a few weapons that I don't have we'll just do a quick run through the gate here of the other blue ones because uh, there are some more that actually would add to his special as well that uh, that would be helpful and then of course there's more armor damages which aren't helpful <laughs> Draculov you got the critical chance for offense 37% armor damage man that's huge actually 
but armor damage still does not play a big role in this game. But that one's good for offense, for sure. And then you got the regalizer here, it, which is the speed weapon. Okay, so let's do the calculation. So he's 37 speed, so he's a slow boy. But you put that nine speed on his charge and then you're looking at him jumping up to 46. And at slow, he's 12 tiles to charge, six ghosted. You put this one on him, then he does get into the next category. So he moves past the break point and he becomes an average hero at 11 tiles thrown and still six ghosted. So this weapon will help shave a tile off and charge him faster. So that's good. And then again, you got the armor damage, which isn't relevant. Okay, Magnum Larry covered. Bargo covered. Ah, the chili suit. Yes, this is a good one. Get back here. You got the dodge on it, so this would be great for defense. And I mean, the dodge does work on offense as well, but it seems it's a staple on most people's defenses, any dodge guns. So just like the the three-star dodge gun, is that the Magnum? Then if you had this one, you could put this on him. And then you get the 16% chance instead of, I think it's only like 6 or 7% chance of dodging with the three-star. But yeah, so that can certainly help. So we already covered. I think I think I got them all. Oh yeah, this is just an armor weapon, isn't it? Yeah, armor damage one. But if that's all you have to use, I mean, for sure. Like every one of the weapons does add some defense and offensive attack stats too, right? So on top of the weapons perks. So even if it isn't the greatest weapon, if that's the one you have to use, by all means, you got to do that. Okay, I think we ran through them all here. So, yep, back to the checkoff. I know I talked about that one already. Okay, so that about covers it for the two three-star zombies. Um, yeah, and I have a couple of Robertos in my alt account, and I'm thinking of... I've just got this guy favorited, but haven't leveled him. But in my alt account, where I'm free to play, I am thinking of leveling up two Robertos just for some depth because I don't have a lot of blue depth right now. I only actually have hollow point as a four star <laughs> blue. I don't think I have any other. Oh, I picked up Jacob. I did pick up Jacob. So yeah. So this guy is definitely worth leveling. He is decent. He's solid for sure. Uh, there are a few weapons that can make him a little bit more effective. And uh, yeah, but Manfred just don't even touch that hot mess. That's awful. It's an awful special. So hopefully SG will buff him in the future. But okay, that's it for those guys. And I will be back and cover the four star zombies and the five star Billy Bob. Take care, everyone. <laughs>